Is Georgie worth all the trouble then? Every bit of it. Every bit of it. And more. And how, more. <laughs> how, tr how troublesome is he? I know you're bored by this sort of question, but how troublesome is he? You know, talk to us Not about really. him. Not really. Uh, he was a young boy, has got tremendous talent, uh, has been a symbol for young people, if you like. Uh, and of course, he enjoys a bit of life, but he also enjoys his football. And uh, I, I, I must say that there's no one probably is more keener than playing, more keener than training than George Best. Mm. And he is quite an amazing footballer, as well as, I think, a nice boy. Good. Fair enough. You know that the day he came, he went back. You heard that story. No, what was that? Isn't that true? That was he that? came yes. to Manchester? Oh, yes. yes. Almost when, didn't when happen, came, this whole yeah. thing. When he came as a, a schoolboy, there were two boys, him and a uh, boy called McMurrow, come to Old Trafford from leaving school. And uh, the first day I was there, I happened to go down in the afternoon when the young boys were kicking around. And uh, this, he was like a little elf at the time, and uh, he was kicking, and, uh, and there was something about him, it, it hit you. The following day, he came along with this lad, McMurray, and he says, I'm, I'm homesick, I'd like to go home. <laughs> oh, I says, you shouldn't do that. I says, hang on for a little time. And I got uh, two of the Irish lads, Harry Gregg and Jimmy Nicholson at the time, to go and talk to him. Anyway, it was of no avail. The next day, he come, he says, oh, I want to go home, homesick. I says, I well understand, I well understand you. Because uh, I went to Manchester as a boy myself, and homesickness is a terrible thing. And I said, now, you've gone home, but I'll probably get in touch with you later. So it still was hitting me in my mind that this was something that was unusual, exceptional. And uh, I decided to write to his father. And I wrote, dear Dick, I understand the boy has gone home. I well understand his feelings. If there's a change of mind, do please get in touch with me. Well, instead of fortnight, I got a letter from him saying, young George had come in and said he would like to go back and try it again. And how fortunate we were, he'd come back and tried it again. Indeed. Because he is, he is, he is a great player. Great so, player. so, Matt, you come a lot to Ireland. Why? Well, as a manager, many, many times you're up to high door. The pressures and everything else are there. And I used to periodically come over here because uh, the moment I came over for a couple of days, I felt as soon as I stepped off the plane or the boat in the early days, I was in another world. I could relax. And this is what I used to do quite often, and go back with a free mind again. Not only that, I have a lot of very great friends here, some wonderful friends here. I made a lot of friends over the years, and I, I love to come here. You know, let me tell you the reverse of that coin. The very first time, a hundred years ago, that I went to England and I was working with Joe Loss and I went up to the Manchester Hippodrome and I was very lonely and very out of it. And the footballer of the year that year was Jackie Carey. And as always, the manager of the year was Matt Busby. Is that the and James they came down Jackie to the Carey? Sorry, is that the James Gate, Jackie Carey? Was he? Johnny Carey. Yes, James Gate. Yes. Yeah, James Gate. Yes. That's, yes. right. mm. That's right. Mm. But Matt and Jackie took me out of the digs and brought me out to whatever the golf course was, I don't yeah, know, brought me out of the ground and made me feel at home for the first time that I was over there. I've mm. never, ever forgotten that. Well, well we're on that subject. Can, well, side excuse that. just a minute, yeah. Matt, because be, in fact, in Manchester, on, on Granada Television, I had to interview you one time at short notice, and I knew nothing about football. Dear heavens, about, I knew nothing about football. <laughs> I know nothing about nothing, but anyway, I was really embarrassed. <laughs> and you turned around and you helped me every... You gave me all the questions <laughs> and all the answers, and your time didn't did everything. Thank you, in retrospect, for that.